All right, welcome back. Uh, you're watching Markets at Noon on ET Now. Let's uh, now connect with Manish Sharma, President and CEO of Panasonic India. Uh, Mr. Sharma, thanks so much for joining us today on ET Now. We'd like to talk about the demand recovery that we are seeing, um, you know, as India starts to unlock. But I think the one segment that we've seen a significant amount of demand recovery has been home appliances. So um, let's start off first, you know, for Panasonic, um, you know, for the sector. How many stores have opened up and, you know, what's your understanding of consumer demand? How are you seeing essentially consumers come back? Yeah, so by the day or I would say by the week, the situation is unfolding and unfolding for better. And as you mentioned, home appliances, I think as the name suggests, while a lot of us sort of experienced uh, living at home, working from home, I think uh, the necessity of a lot of home appliances uh, was much more higher than what it used to be in the recent past. And uh, the trends specific to cooling products, which is air conditioners, refrigerators, and uh, some of the lifestyle products, for example, the vacuum cleaners or uh, grooming products. Uh, so we see a real surge in demand when it comes to trimmers and uh, shavers and uh, hair dryers and those kind of lifestyle products. So in that sense, I think uh, uh, the, the immediate or the early shoots which we see are really positive. Right, I think we'll just get him back. There was some network issue over there. We'll just try and dial him once again. Meanwhile, as what he was saying is that there is a recovery in demand and recovery for select products uh, are actually going up pretty higher. With, okay, he's back with us. Uh, you know, Manish, if you could just start by the point where you were saying that select products have seen great recovery, great demand. Can you just elaborate more on that? So, you know, uh, again, to early to sort of uh, uh, reach to a conclusion, but I think the learnings of last about a month, because from 5th of May, the uh, lockdown started to get relaxed across various parts of the country. And now uh, I think we have understanding of how things have unfolded in last one month. So a few things. First is uh, commodities still continue to uh, be sluggish on demand. So when I say commodities, it is essentially televisions in the a uh, higher range of uh, products and uh, when it comes to necessities for example the cooling products which is uh, refrigerators and air conditioners i think there is a there, there was a pent up demand and uh, the uh, the the week on week we see that uh, the growth over last year still is building up and uh, the recent situation is such that the weekend uh, growth over last year was only short by 14%. So we are catching up with last year in terms of uh, demand being back on track for cooling products. The other trend which we have observed is uh, grooming products, for example, the shavers, trimmers, and uh, lifestyle products like vacuum cleaners, uh, automatic robots, or dishwashers. So the demand for those kind of products has really witnessed the exponential growth compared to last year. So I've, I've been uh, reasonably optimistic, especially looking at uh, last couple of weeks, how they have unfolded and how consumers have responded back uh, being in the market to make their purchases. What would you make of, you know, the supply issues that were there earlier or that are still there now? How is the company coping up with that? How is the company ensuring that right product is reaching, you know, most of the retailers with the all sort of lockdown, various labor issues? How is the company managing all that? So I believe that uh, the situation has completely shifted from initial challenges being on the supply side because uh, uh, mid of February, we all felt that the majority of issues will be on the supply side. So we made initial efforts to ensure that the materials, the components from their parent locations, whether it is Japan or China or Taiwan or otherwise, are really you know accelerated in terms of bringing into the manufacturing locations in country. And these products initially were like compressors or materials used in heat, heat exchangers because we were looking at the summer season to begin with. However, uh, within about a month, the challenge shifted uh, from supply to the demand side. And as I mentioned, uh, I think the current efforts of the industry is to really build upon, while the demand is building upon, parallelly to build upon the assembly lines and the capabilities and the utilization of those capabilities. So my point of view in last about a month and the view which we see of next couple of months is that in line with building up of demand, we'll be in a good position 
to build up the manufacturing once again and then subsequently the sourcing which is the supply side of it which is the components so i believe this is how the build up is going to happen in next few months and specific to our industry i don't see a major challenge ahead Okay, so that's good to know. No such challenges uh, specifically to uh, you know the entire consumer durable or electronics industry as such. On the supply side, demand, of course, uh, we are speaking about how the category categories uh, which are related to you know living a at home, working from home, like uh, grooming, cleaning, etc., are seeing quite a rise. Um, you know, I just want to talk to you now about this entire phase manufacturing cr program that the government has announced. Uh, India wants to depend on manufacturing, but, uh, you know, there is still that lack of efficiencies, if you could call it that, uh, when one has to make in India. So, uh, what do you think needs to be done to make India more Atmanirbhar in every way? Again, a very, very relevant topic you sort of uh, brought up in this conversation. And... Uh, uh, I've been engaging myself in the capacity of uh, FICI's co-chair in the past and I chair the committee of uh, electronics manufacturing committee and my experience is that while in last many years there was consistent conversation happening between various authorities whether it is the government or the chambers or the industry itself. However, my experience of last couple of months is that we have really accelerated this conversation and made it more meaningful and deeper enough in terms of objectively understanding that what is needed. So first is we need to ensure that we unlock the potential of demand within the country. And I think that is happening as I mentioned in the initial comments. Second is that how do we look at enabling the backward integration, which means how can we not only assemble the goods in the country or manufacture those finished goods in the country, but also bring in manufacturing of components within the country. And I'll quickly give you one example. And third is in this whole process, when we are sort of aiming at becoming self-reliant, how do we also make India a global hub of manufacturing, which is enabling exports out of India? And that's a large subject. Uh, giving one example, yesterday, Honorable Prime Minister, in his own, one of his speeches, spoke about uh, air conditioners as an industry and the potential which it has. Uh, quick point, today, one of our neighboring countries, China, manufactures air conditioners in excess of 110 million annually. Whereas we manufacture approximately 7 million units of air conditioners. I think this is a massive opportunity ahead of us. And you spoke about phase manufacturing program. Uh, we are reasonably confident with steps in next few years. Not only we will unlock the potential of this country. So China today a potential of almost 60, 70 million units. And India is a potential of about 7.5 million units. I think there is so much to unlock. And then parallelly enable the backward integration of components. So phase manufacturing program covers a meticulous approach in this direction. Right, sir. Thank you so much sir, for taking our time for us. Interesting, as always, to get perspective from you, what's happening on the ground, what are the supply side issues, and of course, what can be done on the manufacturing side, especially in the air cooling segment. But one important development uh, in Mumbai and